I'm Ethan Owens from Fiasco Sports and SA Footballer Magazine and today I'm joined by Scott Doreen, footy director from the Paynham Nord Union Footy Club in Division 1 and he is our feature legend of the week. So Scott, tell me, how did you find yourself getting involved in the Paynham Footy Club and eventually become the footy director? Uh, well, I, I met Gary McIntosh when I first moved over here and played at Norwood with Gary and um, he, uh, he went and coached Paynham. I moved into the area and um, I've now been there for this my 10th season um, as a player, coach and, and now moved into the football director's role. So, so pretty much uh, the friendship with Gary McIntosh was uh, the reason I got to Paynham. And in that time, what sort of changes have you noticed about the, uh, the atmosphere at the club? Um, I, I think we just try and bring a, a real sort of... Um, uh, culture to the football club where we, we want people there to, to really want to be there to enjoy themselves um, you know sort of with the the culture around the world at the moment I think you know sort of sport is a big part of that and being part of a football club is uh, no doubt through my life was uh, very important and um, that's what we sort of try and promote at the football club is to be there to enjoy it sort of uh, it's that break away from work and, and lifestyle and um, and you know and also we, we're sort of really heavy on uh, being a successful football club and well respected Absolutely, and what sort of things do you try and implement to uh, ensure you guys are continuing to pro progress from a footy level? Um, I, I think it's just sort of um, competing at, at this Div 1 level. It's sort of um, from where we've come from when Gary took over the club was, was Div 4 and um, you know, we have had a lot of success and, and to get to Div 1 has been a, a great result but um, we still strive to, to get better and, and we want to be um, Div 1 Premiers so that's our, that's our aim and and the, the whole club and, and the staff involved and, and the players um, are succeeding to do that. So that's our goal and um, we want to be the best club in Div 1. Absolutely, and that positive progression I'm sure is a highlight for you, but what other highlights really stand out from your time at the club? I, I think just sort of um, the people we have around the club. We sort of, um, you know, I've been involved in, in two football clubs, the Sydney Swans and also uh, Norwood at, uh, Football Club. and. And we, we, we have a sort of a bit of a, a bit of a no dickhead policy sort of thing. You know, we sort of, uh, um, we, we want quality people in our football club. And, and since I've been at Paynham, you know, I've been there 10 years now and I don't think I've seen um, a fight in the football club or, uh, you know, players um, doing the wrong thing. So that's sort of one thing we promote sort of at our football club, but also in the community. Sounds like an incredible culture and obviously no club can be successful without the help of some great sponsors. So who does sponsor the Pain and Footy Club? Yeah, we have some great sponsors. Uh, GPA Engineering has been, been with us for a long time. Um, we also have Tony and Marks, um, sort of, uh, they've been a great sponsor. And also the Kensington Hotel. So um, Rob, Rob Fragamini, our chairman, um, is mixed up with Optus. So, so um, you know, without these sponsors, uh, the club doesn't sort of survive. So, um, so we're very thankful to them. And just to finish off, any exciting things happening at the, around, the, around the club at the moment? Um, well, it's, it's, you know, it's all about trying to, to make money and, and survive as a football club. Um, we've got a dogs night coming up this Thursday night, which should be a good night. Um, but um, but you know, our, our four grades um, we sort of uh, you know sort of uh, are being successful, which is good. So, and we're also trying to um, we're just about to start a, a ladies' academy uh, for football at the football club too. So uh, Gary McIntosh, Ben Hunt, and myself. Um, are promoting that at the moment. I think we've got you know sort of 15 girls that have um, signed up already. Um, so hopefully by the end of July we're looking to, to maybe get 30 or 40 girls uh, involved in some sort of academy so we can teach them the, the rules of the game and and you know we, we want that female sort of um, uh, you know involved in our football club. So you know we sort of um, that's the path we're taking, which we think is really exciting. Awesome, thanks Scott. I'm Ethan Ons from Fiasco Sports and SA Footballer Magazine. Today I was joined by Scott Doreen, footy director from the Paynham Norwood Union Footy Club in Division 1 and he was our feature legend of the week.